Well, good day to you all folks. Uh, after I got one problem sorted out, another problem came along. Right, on the Kubota here, the starter motor starts. Uh, I found out why it was clicking. Uh, yeah, I went on YouTube myself and investigated on what's going on with this. Well, apparently I know I was having problems with the battery, got the battery sorted out and so I give it a good charge up and then the starter motor, there was no more clicking anymore. But I did learn a little bit about the thing inside. You guys know what I'm talking about. You don't have enough voltage going through, it will not start the tractor up. Well, we all know that. But uh, there's like, I don't know what you call it, a spindle inside there. What starts it all off. Anyway, we won't go into that. What's happening, I went to do a job with the tractor on the other side of the village and I realised I left a trail of oil behind me. So I found out where it's all coming from. I'm just hoping it's the gasket. That's what I'm hoping. Simple job, by looking, looking at things, there's, it looks like there's two bolts. There's oil coming from there. As you can see, it's all run down. It's all run down here. All the oil, and it's just great. Come on, let me get and it's all and it's all run and splashed up at the back at first i thought it was serious looking at mountain of oil all over the place uh, but hopefully i think it is just the gasket the starter motor i don't have any problems with it's starting the tractor up and um so hopefully i can't see behind there so what i'll have to do is take the there's a bolt at the top bolt at the bottom far as i know it's like you say i've never done a cupboard before so i'm gonna try somewhere there we are uh never never ever got round to doing the electrics because every time i want to do the electrics as you can see it's terrible down there i'm surprised the blue thing hasn't caught by you but there we go does anybody know could anybody tell me please what that is i'm trying to look up what it is there's two wires coming from it i don't know what it is no idea and um i just can't see what what it's going to so if somebody could please comment what it is going to do uh so yeah so that'll be my job that'll be i'll be doing a, a channel on this and uh, not today because we just, just had some stupid storms again up here it's hailstormed it's thundered it's lightning and everything else has been chucked at us today so that's going to be left for a few days also I, when I went out and doing a job, they said to me, do I want this? Do I want this? Yes, please, I said. So it is a roller, as you can see. But this one, you fill it up with water uh, through here. So I'm going to see if I can take this off. It's got a lot of dents in it, well, as you can see. And uh, the guy said he didn't turn around. Not surprised because uh, of the dents. But apparently... Where am I looking? Well, I've got to take it. I'm going to take it all apart. Uh, I'm going to get my friend down, Jay. I asked him if he wanted to give me a hand because he likes tinkling about with all knackered stuff like this. So I'm going to actually take it apart. Don't know what that was, thunder and lightning. I'm going to either take it apart and give it a clean up, give it a paint. I'm going to give it Kubota colours. This one, British made. The Union Jack there. So that's what I'm going to do, is give it a clean up, so that'll be on me YouTube. I'll do a, a channel on that one also. Like I say, big dents in it. Ooh, look at that, it's got a hole in it. Well, at least I've got a welder, I can weld that up. So, I could either fill it with concrete. Somebody said, fill it with concrete. And then I thought, well, if I do jobs somewhere else... It's not going to be good carrying it around. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Because I, I change my mind more times I change my bloody socks. <laughs> so, that's how it's going. So, at the moment, I've got two tractors down. Haven't got the part yet for this. As you can see. But, um... So, that one's got a leak and that one's got a leak. But I can still drive this one. I do drip a bit of oil. I tried bunging it up, but it didn't work. But I don't use it much. And uh, can't beat a bit of baler band. But there we go. I'm just waiting for the part to come back. So, yeah. I'm going to go in because it's starting to uh, 
hailstone again in April. We're in April, this hailstone here. So just bear with me a moment, I'll put this side on. Right, I've got that. Oh god, the winds are picking up again. They just come out with a blow. Right, so there we go. So we got Oh, it's that hailstone again. Gotta get back in. Oh bloody hell. Get caught out now. Come on guys. Stepping stones here. Is it snow or is it? What is it? Are they hailstones or snow? the other right wind turbine going good that's charging my batteries up so that is doing a great job change my flags to a pirate one <laughs> I won't tell you the story why I put that one up but there we go <laughs> right let's get into here oh, it's lovely and warm in here so somebody's stolen my seat haven't you Buster and I've got the wood burner on and I've got a nice pan of hot water on for a cup of. So yes guys, so that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll, it'll be most probably, I don't know which one's coming up first. The um, starter motor or the roller. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe and hit that bell button. That would be most appreciated. And thank you for the new guys who... Oh, God, sit me ass down. And look, I'll say what I was sitting on before they disappear. How comes I get the log and the cat gets the seat? <laughs> so, so, anyway, thank you for the newcomers coming on board. I'm most appreciated. Please pass these on to your friends and that's because it's all quirky. Different things go on on this farm. Sometimes I don't even know. I don't even know what's going to happen the next day. And that is the truth because... I can't plan my days. Days are different. I haven't got a clue what is going to happen tomorrow. Right, anyway, guys, like I said, thank you for the newcomers. Most appreciate it. And uh, blessings to you all. And everybody take care and keep warm, keep dry. I don't know what the weather is like in your country. But there we go. And uh, look at that lash. Bye for now.